This is so Asian. This tune is so Asian. <laughs> Anything else we can steal from the populace? Hello, guys, and welcome back to Let's Bli <laughs> Let's Blindly Play. Let's play. Golden Sun. <laughs> I had to think about for a second what this game was called. He who has the power to see that which cannot be seen shall see the truth. With me, Oaks Fu. Now, we finally learned Reveal. That's this little power that I'm tossing around right here for Ivan. By visiting Master Hema's temple. At the Lama Temple. And we're gonna go save Sue over here, but looks like we can't get through. But wait a minute. We use reveal. <gasps> da, 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 da. We can get through the cave side. <laughs> Sue, are you okay? <laughs> I forgot about his face. Master Hammer, I am okay. But the boulder, I cannot move. <laughs> I'm gonna give him that voice, I like it. Sue seems unhurt. You must be glad, Feishi. Yes, thank you, Master. But how can we free him? Now I'm just getting lazy with Feishi's voice. Whatever. I don't care. I don't know what we can do. You know, we could try moving it, but I'm just gonna sit here. I am trapped between these two boulders! At least I wasn't crushed. I was lucky. <laughs> Alright, Garrett. Time to work some magic. Oh! Quick, drag him out. Isaac, did you lift the boulder? Come on, drag him out! Oh my, the boulder, it floats. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, no, come on, pull him free. I can't hold this thing forever. Well, I can, but that's not the point. Ready yourself, Sue. I'm going to pull. One, two, three! Hoi! Hoi! He's halfway out, just a little further. <laughs> my, my voice is kind of going on these voices. Can you hang on just a moment longer? Yeah, sure, why not? You know, I could wait, hang on forever, but... Alright, Garrett, let her go. Just plop it right down. We did it, Feishi! No, I... Well, no, I didn't. Garrett did it. Come on. Give, give, give credit where it's due. You must contact Master Fe and ask him to tend to Sue's injuries. I will ask him to clean up the rocks, too. Excellent. If Silk Road remains blocked, everyone will suffer. Awesome. Adepts, let me thank you again. I am truly grateful. Did we get anything? Come on. Reward us. Reward us. You know you want to. No, Master Hammer, we are the ones who should be grateful. Thank you for passing the power of reveal on to me. But what you said... What is it, Ivan? Well, spit it out. We could read your mind, but... <laughs> well, really I was the one who suggested we help you, right? Oh, shut up, Garrett. No, Garrett, you wanted us to get moving! <laughs> uh, Isaac, Mia, don't make me look like a fool. You made yourself look like a fool. <laughs> do not worry, Garrett, I do not mind. Travel well, my friends. I hope to see you soon. Okay, let's go! Let's go! Track down Felix. Weren't you going to ask Master Hama what she... Weren't you going to ask Master Hama what she meant earlier? We don't know when we'll be able to see Master Hama again. Isaac, don't you think we should ask Master Hama what she meant? See, if it's bothering you, you should just go ahead and ask now. Thank you, everyone. But it is better that we leave now. What do you mean? Master Hannah hasn't looked me in the eye since she said those words. She hates you. She hates you so much. Well, that just makes me even more curious. Come on, let's go ask her. Come on, Ivan, come on. 
Don't worry about it. I doubt she would even tell me if I asked. Well, that's just... <laughs> Actually, that's what I was about to say. Well, that's... nice. Master Hammer will tell me when we have completed our mission. I can't do voices anymore, so I'm not even going to try. I have to believe that. Otherwise, what else will you believe in? <laughs> it's almost like, um... Your reason for keeping on going. Anyway, what do you have to say, Chun-Li? Many people from Sha'an helped move the rocks! Those were- they were very heavy! Uh, it looks like she's get, he's got the ch- er, no, that is a she. Looks like he, she's got the Chun-Li type buns in her hair. Anyway, we're gonna go back to Master Fest School really quick. We move the rocks so people can pass! Yeah! I'm a muscle-bound buff! Oh my god! Uh, screw the mo- screw the- the motion blur. It's not that bad. If- at least if we keep moving. Let's go see what's- oh! Well, wrong place. I was gonna say, let's go see what's brewing at Master Fez School now that we've helped Sue and all that. Oh! Sue is resting! Feiji is watching over him, they will be glad to see you! Well, let's go see him, then. Feiji's prediction came true. Now I believe she can foresee things. <laughs> oh, warrior! Welcome! There we go, that's a better voice. Sue was saved thanks to you and Master Hama. You have my deepest gratitude. I was injured by- I don't know, I can't give him the stereotypical one. I was injured by rocks! On my way to from Lama Temple! I'm sad my training could not help me. Is that it? Is that it? Really? Is that it? Can we at least get something? No. You're just gonna be like, Thank you! <laughs> you know, speaking of Beetle Shop, I just really n I, I was almost about to call him the venerable bead instead of beetle just because um well it starts the same sound but for those of you that don't know the venerable bead was a medieval scholar <laughs> who is pretty much the opposite of bead well no not pretty much the opposite it's just that or not opposite of beetle uh, not the opposite it's just could you ever imagine beetle sitting down to write a treatise on the history of the kings of Britain or stuff like that. Oh my god. This shit is bananas. Look at how hot it looks. Now the thing with Lamakin Desert is that you pretty much want to stay out of the sand as much as possible. Because watch, as soon as we touch the sand, that meter on the left is going to start going up like crazy. Just walking around here saps every ounce of my strength. And, oh my god, orcs. I love that they're called orcs and they're pigmen. Oh, man. Like, I guess they could be orcs, but it's just, again, really funny that they're they're pigmen. Like, usually you'd, you'd, you'd expect a game to call them pigmen. <laughs> Not orcs. You expect the green orcs from Lord of the Rings or something like that. I don't know. Pretty easy. They're the basic enemies for this area. Well, some of the basic enemies. I don't know why we use so much PP. Probably should have had some people just attack. Anyway. I, I can't keep my cool when it's this hot. Shut up, Ivan. Anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find these oases in groups of six stones in a circle like that. You're gonna want to hop in them. Well, first of all, you're going to want to stay out of the sand. Because if that meter reaches the top, you're going to take quite a bit of damage. Alright, let's do a Storm Ray and another Tundra. There we go. Aw, oh, damn it. Come on. He had to call an ally. 
No, oh, well, we'll take him out easy. Perfect. Nice, Plywell. I believe it does 200 health to whichever... Or it restores 200 health to whichever you choose. Yeah, 200 HP. Ah, uh, uh, this desert is much hard, hotter than I ever imagined. But anyway, if this meter reaches full, what's gonna happen is... I, I can't... Oh, come on. You can say something else. Is you're gonna take quite a bit of damage. Now, I'm gonna try my hardest not to show you what that's like, because it does do quite a bit of damage, but it'll probably happen before we're able to get out of this desert. Ah, this desert is much hotter than I ever imagined. Oh god! And then sometimes you'll find these guys. I love the little heart! It's like, mmm, food! Tastes good, it does. I don't know why he has Yoda's voice. And I don't know why he sounds like he's from... Which constant? <laughs> they're not that hard. I mean, they're difficult to fight just because they have a high defense, but they're not terribly hard. And they give quite a good amount of um, HP, or not HP, ex experience as well, so. Yeah, there we go. 16 night. I, I can't think of new lines to say when it's this hot. It's terrible. It's like they're all scripted to say every few every few feet. <laughs> Come on, I want Isaac or Mia to say something. You guys are boring. You're just like, I can't keep my cool. It's hard to go keep going when the desert's this hot. Wine, 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 wine. I don't hear Isaac whining. I don't hear Mia whining. Jeez. Ah, here we go. If I don't find, if we don't find an oasis soon, I'm gonna shrivel up and blow away. Believe? No, this is not an oasis. Well, let's check the quest or check the chest. It's a Vulcan axe. It's pointed like Vulcan ears. Hmm. I'm gonna give it to Isaac. Actually, I usually actually I usually. No, no, no. Let's give it to Garrett. He deserves that much more. But, on the other hand, let's give this Claymore to Isaac. I don't know, it's just something about Garrett. I always like to give him the axes. And... can we give... Okay, that doesn't actually increase the damage. Ready? Ready? We're at 231 for Isaac? This is how much damage it'll do. Ow! Wow. 60 damage. <laughs> I don't think that's across the board, I think it's a percentage of everybody's life, but it's still pretty ridiculously high. Just for walking around, so... I'm so thirsty! Water! I need some! I didn't see the rest of his line. Just because I had the B button pressed so I was running around. Anyway, now I believe we have reached the main part of the desert. The other nice thing about running up here is that... Oh! I thought you didn't run up into enemies while you were on the rock. I guess I was wrong. Whatever. Anyway, um, I will see you guys next time. Um, let's play some Golden Sun with me, Oxfu. Take it easy. J just walking around here saps every ounce of my strength. Ah, here we go. Nice pool of water. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to just walking around here saps every ounce of my strength and every ounce of creativity of my lines. Uh, I can't keep my cool when it's this hot. Actually, I'm done recording for now.